Hey guys, just wanted Hello. to ask, uh, how did you get into the uh, business of playing with dolls and uh, action figures? Uh, I, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Collectible action figures. Well, not, no, no. Post NRFB. You know, we actually have to call That's them. That's not going to help you. They're going to get you. <laughs> We're not getting out here alive now. That's fine. That's fine. We, you know, we call them puppets in the office and it throws me off every day. Right. Because they're toys. Um, gosh. Uh, I've been playing with toys since I was a small infant child. <laughs> now, now just just worked my ass off to figure out how I could make a living doing it. <laughs> Seth went from stealing my toys to building a multi multi a million billion, I don't know, we'll never see it, dollar empire. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Turner's gonna open another restaurant. Yeah. We'll all be fighting for pennies. So now he doesn't have to steal my toys anymore. That's the whole point of it. No, now you get to buy them for me. Yeah. <laughs> now you work for me, sucker. <laughs> well, the, the real answer to the question. Is that a long time? <laughs> 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 Thank you, Dad. <laughs> it's, it's Matt, myself, and Tom used to work for a little company called Wizards. Yay! Uh, yeah. Toy magazine specifically. And Seth called, cold calls and says, I love everything you do and we should work together. Wait, it actually went a little differently. <laughs> I think well, a lot differently. <laughs> Uh, that's how we got in touch and the show started from there. I called Doug personally, and I was like, Hey, Doug, don't see this, and I've read every editorial written in uh, Toy Fair Wizard. And Actually, Toy Doug, and... um, the show really started with Seth and me and Ryan in our office, um, which was years before he met you, so... <laughs> <laughs> Good night, folks. Thanks yeah. very much. <laughs> this has been great. The terrible fractures of the robot chicken crew. What? <laughs> What? I think Kevin just Unless wrote the Emperor sketch, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Alright, you know what? Fuck it. You know what? Let's settle it right now, okay? Here's the thing. Fisticuff! This has been a long, long problem that we've had on the show within the internal struggle between Doug and I. Alright, here's the thing. I'll tell you the real sketch. I wrote the Emperor sketch. You did not. Okay? And Doug still likes to be like, because I'm Super Wizard Magazine! Dude, here's the thing, I was in Garfield. Okay. <laughs> it's a magic cat. It's a magic cat. Am I gonna lie? No. <laughs> Why did I have a big sketch? Suck it. King is ass, dog! King is ass! For the record, it was my idea. I, I wrote it, and they said, Brecken, can you touch up the dialogue a little bit? And what did Brecken do? He <laughs> <laughs> changed the <one> word. <laughs> Kick his ass! Then it was on the air. That's, what, that's what happens all day, guys. <laughs> all day long. Welcome to the road writer's room. <laughs> this is why it takes us 11 months to do <laughs> Hey, Seth. Hey, what is your favorite addition to your collection of action figures this year or this week? <laughs> oh, you know what? I just got those uh, Mezco Miami Vice guys. Yeah? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, Crockett and Tubbs. Yeah. Crockett, his hand holds the cigarette <laughs> and the gun at the same time. So... <laughs> I'm the gun guy. Oh, it was like 19 bucks. Then uh, Tubbs, both of them come with sunglasses, first of all. And then Tubbs comes with the Mac 10 and the sawed off flip down shotgun. He's just like. <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah, and uh, Crockett comes with the crocodile. Yes. You rock, man. Thanks, dude. Right back at you. Ghostbusters can make me blush. <laughs> That's okay, we're used to it. Nice, nice outfit. Okay, awesome. the Empire. I have that hat. It's not that one. He's drunk. Are you 501st, dude, or are you just like, a, like the costume? No, I'm not part of 501st. Okay. I met you last year, Mr. Green. Remember? Um, Were you wearing the same outfit? Yeah, he stood up and saluted me. I probably have a picture of him. I saluted you. He's in his hand. He's in Mr. Green. That's a quiet, that's a nice moment. He's in his hand. He was bald. He called him Mr. Green. Let's do it. No, people call him Mr. Green. Mr. Green, like you're in Reservoir, though. <laughs> I'm assuming there was a question though. Oh uh, yeah. 
Um, but before I ask my quick question, I'm just going to say, because the sketch um, where the villains are carpooling the Skeletor and, uh, and, and the Skeletor says, You don't know about the Skeletor, it's pretty kiss pretty toe! <laughs> just because of that, my group of friends, whenever somebody farts, we all go, Skeletor! <laughs> I appreciate our entrance into the populace. Now, the question is, are you ever going to do any more unsolved um, murder mystery sketches? <laughs> uh, unsolved case files for real? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah! We so, we so thought that was a turn. <laughs> We all thought they failed miserably. We really, we did. We never heard anything from it. It's well, great. Know. We read right the message for us. Nobody talks about it. So when you say we, say I. I. I did not read the message. All right. I'm Matt will call me over and be like, oh, someone hates you a lot, and here's an entire <laughs> seven-page thread about it. With several people detailing just why you suck. And, and I'm just like, oh, let me read it. <laughs> and then I'll have to email it to every one of us. <laughs> all right, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Matt. Show obviously caters to people with really short attention spans, and just watching you guys for 15 minutes. Uh, Next question. How you, guys, how you guys get anything done? So I'm just wondering what your actual approval process when skits, like who actually decides what you go on. This is, this is all this is actually top. a huge point of contention. A huge point of contention. It's a four-way democratic vote. Well, let them take this. Democratic. Democratic. You guys talk. You guys go home and, and then, then we'll go from Brecken into Kevin. Yeah, nothing democratic about it. No. Uh, there are four uh, gentlemen with a uh, vote in the writers' room: me and Doug and Matt and Seth. And then we have several other writers with no vote. <laughs> <laughs> but we each carry weapons. <laughs> and it takes three votes to get a sketch into the show, which happens very rarely. Never. And uh, but. I've noticed that more of my sketches make it in than more than, than Kevin's. <laughs> because I have a boat. <laughs> You're not the only one who noticed that. <laughs> I find it in the ridiculous. So it gets quite contentious in the writer's room. It's such a hostile panel. <laughs> if you guys ever wondered why there's so many fart jokes and kicked and nuts, because usually we can agree that yeah. farts are no. I'm gonna no no no. Oh yeah. <laughs> Little known fact about Breck and Meyer: he hates fart jokes. So anytime we have them, we make sure we, we cast Seth. Well, not uh, not cast just Brecken. wait, not just fart jokes, but the word fart. 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 So, fart. So, fart. So, fart. No, no, so when we did the, uh, when we did the Uncle Sam fart the National Anthem, that's right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's animals. All right. <laughs> that's not like it. I would, yeah. Fart. Fart. I just don't, shut up. <laughs> shut up, it's, I don't like the word. Okay, this is for Seth Green. I heard you on Love Line on Tuesday night with Dr. Yeah. You said something about you sold a million copies. Here's the truth, kids. Here's what I've said on the radio. Tuesday to Tuesday, a million copies of the Star Wars DVD. We are throwing a big old party for the fans. Wow. Really? Where? I got my copy. You got like Hell yeah. two days. Where's the party? The I don't know yet. It's going to be a logistical nightmare, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you have to imagine a million people buy DVDs. It's going to be a big party. <laughs> Seth's house. <laughs> You're out. Yeah, my house, yeah. My, my Do you guys want Seth's house. email? Yeah! yeah! Actually, if you listen to the commentary on the uh, Star Wars DVD, one of our writers yeah, gave crazy his, person Eric Weiner. It's awesome. Gave his, DVD, uh, his uh, email out on the DVD, and he's gotten Just probably besieged. about 100 uh, emails 100? so far. Yeah. I, so, I hope we sell more copies of that. <laughs>